Good evening. Good evening. Hello, welcome. Vamos a esperar a que entren los demás. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Okay. Bueno, lo que los demás se incorporan, eh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. Sobre algún ejercicio en específico que les haya dado problemas o tengan dudas. No, pre, no, no, no hay preguntas, questions? No, teacher. Okay. How are you today? Fine, so so. Hoy están callados, toda la semana han estado bien callados. <laughs> Es el frío, teacher. <risa> el clima es el que no ayuda mucho. Mucho frío, teacher, mucho frío. <risa> Me imagino que por eso es así. A esta hora ya dan ganas de estar acostados. <risa> o con un cafecito. <risa> ok, let's start. Eh, solo déjenme compartir pantalla. Today we're going to work on reading. Ok. Hello, good evening. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, empezando vamos. Okay, so this is almost the last class. Okay, almost, casi la última clase. Acuérdense que tenemos clases mañana. Todavía, entonces, eh, mañana es la última clase. Quiero ver, quisiera ver si eh, hoy ve, vemos lo del examen final para que por, por si hay alguna duda todavía y los que no lo han hecho y ya mañana nos quedamos solamente con la clase y ya todo, todo asegurándonos que, que esté bien todo con el examen final. Ok, so let's start uh, the class. Uh, well, the name of the lesson, let's say our today's class, it's Friends Across the Continent because that is the name of the reading. Si se acuerdan que en, en la última sección de la sección 5, Había una lectura. Well, it was reading and listening. Y ese era el nombre como del el título de la lectura. So that's why eh, it's the, that's the name of the lesson because we are going to read the, 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 the text again, the conversation. And uh, we are going to work with reading today. So these are the objectives. We are going to learn vocabulary through the reading about actions in progress. Ya vimos como por ejemplo, I am wearing, you know, I am dancing, they are eating, okay, but we can have many other verbs. Y ya para irnos familiarizando con otros verbos, no solamente los que, algunos que ya hemos repasado. Then, to develop reading skills by understanding written simple descriptions. Acuérdense que el nivel de, le de, de lecturas que estamos trabajando a este nivel, pues, tiene que ser básico, ¿verdad? Eh, no, no, no lecturas así super largas con vocabulario super rebuscado. But the idea is that in the reading, you don't understand everything that you read, but that you get the idea. That is the objective. No tiene que entender todo a, a, en estos momentos, pero sí tratar de entender la idea en general de lo que está, lo que está leyendo. 
Lo mismo pasa en el speaking. Si usted escucha, no tiene que entenderme cada palabra que yo voy diciendo. Pero si me entiende la idea en, en, en general, está bien. Ahorita eso es lo principal. Ok, uh, let me open a, an activity. It's a, it's a game that I have prepared. This activity is based on the vocabulary that you studied in the platform. Hay una actividad, hay un, hay un, hay un video eh, basado en este vocabulario que está antes de la lectura. Ok, está antes de la lectura, entonces, eh, eh, based on that vocabulary, we are going to play this game. It's a memory game, ok? It's a memory game, so the idea is that you tell me. No tiene números, right? You cannot see numbers, but let's say the number. Ok, so let's, let's do it like this. Digamos que la primera línea es A, A, the second one is B, and the third one is C. Y cada línea tiene ocho números. Entonces, así lo vamos a identificar, aunque no tengan números. For example, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, y así. Y las de en medio, no, perdón, perdón, <ríe> ya me confundí. A1, A2, A3, así. La segunda sería B1, B2, B3, y hasta la ocho. Y la tercera sería C1, C2, C3, hasta la C8. Y así ustedes me, me van a ayudar a abrir las. Las, las tarjetas. The idea here is that we match the picture with the activity. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Is it clear? Yes. Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Yes, teacher. Okay. And if we cannot mark the numbers, let me open the pointer so it is easier for us, like this, to, for me to to identify the the the, the card. Okay. Uh, I'll start, okay, so we can have an idea. So I'm going to choose uh, A4, let's say A4, and uh, C1, okay? So as you can see, it's not correct, right? So you have to identify the activity with the pictures. Okay, one volunteer. Just one? Mm -hmm. Mi teacher. Ok. Ok. A. A. Tú. Ajá. Am. C. Four. Ok. Oh. Tienen que ir fijando y acordándose a dónde queda cada una. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ya me acordé. Ok, one more volunteer. Fíjense que estoy viendo algo. Espérenme, vamos a hacer algo mejor. Tal vez así nos sale, no, no, se, nos resulta más fácil. Oh, la vez anterior que lo jugué. Ok. Se equivocó, teacher. Really? Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Ok. Let's... Um... <coughs> sí. Give me the numbers then. It's going to be easier. Okay? Now, uh, Jenny already said 220, right? But you said that it's not correct. Now, give me two numbers, please. One volunteer. Okay. Me, teacher. Roxana, okay? Yes. <laughs> A2. Okay, now give me the numbers. Eight and two. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait. B fifteen. Ah, no, B. but now tell me the numbers. Hoy sí, ya me puede decir los números porque ya los escribí yo ahí. Only numbers. Ajá, uh -huh, only the numbers porque ya los escribí yo ahí. No hay problema. Ah, okay. Entonces sería two. 
Ajá. Y fifth thing. Mm -mm. Ok. Next. Number five and twenty-two. Ok. Oh. Uh -uh. Five is seven, seventeen, teacher. Five and seventeen. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> Two and twenty-one. Two and twenty-one. Two and twenty-one. Ah. Uh, creo que era twenty-two. Seven is seven and twenty. Seven and twenty. Shop. Watch television. Uh-uh. Four and twenty. <laughs> Can walk. Uh uh. <laughs> But hurry up, porque. Hurry up, excuse me. Uh huh. It's a memory game. Two and five. Two and five. Swim. Yeah. Uh uh. Twenty and eleven. Again. Twenty and fifteen. Excellent. Okay. No. Okay, 20 and 15. Watch television. Yes. Okay, next. Nine. Mm -hmm. Seven. Ten mm -hmm. and twenty four. Which one? Ten and twenty four. Okay, ten. No. Fourteen and twenty four. Fourteen and twenty four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Ah, thirteen. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Drive, run. Okay. Me teacher. Um. Yes. Nine sir. and. And fifteen, and and fifteen. I oh, know. No, but fifteen is already here. It's it's not oh, there. Thirteen, sorry. Thirteen, okay. Thirteen and nine. Excellent. Drive. That is the action. Drive. Thank you. Next. Five and seventeen. Five and seventeen. Yes. Uh. -uh. Four and five. Take a walk. No. Five and seventeen. No, no. Sorry. Five, 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 five. <laughs> sorry, too late. I'm sorry, but you can repeat. Give me the correction. Kevin. Five. Five and. I <laughs> <laughs> Five and twenty-two. No. Twenty-four eight. Four and eight. Es que las mismas me dicen, fíjense, hay unas que no las son. Seven, seven, eight. Seven and eight. Seven, uh -huh. eight. Yes. Very good. Shop. Right? Shop. Excellent. Okay. Next. One and eleven. One and eleven. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh. Twenty four and one. <laughs> Again? One and, and twenty four and one. Very good. Run. Now you start identifying the activities, right? Now, next. Twenty-three, five. No. Oh, it is. Ya me acuerdo cuál es esa. Ten and six. Ten and six. And six. Yes. Okay. No, it's twenty-three. Ten and twenty-three. Excellent. Play tennis. Play tennis, okay? Next. 
Nineteen six. Nineteen and six. Yes. Two and six. Two and six. Excellent, Edgar. Excellent. Very good. S swim. Thank you. Okay, swim. next. Twelve and three. Twelve and three. Yes. Excellent. It was Rachel, right? Excellent. Next. Sixteen and twenty-one. Sixteen and, and twenty-one. Uh -huh. No. Mm -mm. Oh, four and twenty. Four and, and sixteen. Sixteen. Four and, Four and sixteen. Oh, five. 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 Five and half. Five and sixteen. Excellent. Read. Read. Okay, that's the next activity. Now, next. Seventeen and twenty-one. Excellent. Study. Study. Very good. Next. Eleven and twenty-two. Fourteen and eighteen. <laughs> and eighteen? No. Oh. oh. oh Eleven and eighteen. <laughs> Fourteen and twenty-two. Ride a bike. Very good. Ride a bike. So which one did you say? 1422. Very good. Watch a movie. Okay. And the last one? <laughs> Take a walk. 419. <laughs> okay. Take a walk. Okay. Now, this vocabulary, uh, remember that was, um, let me erase everything was taken uh, from one of the videos before the reading. And it was to learn vocabulary about activities in general. Son actividades en general que son comunes. Realmente las realizamos and we can use it at any tense. So it's vocabulary that maybe you can keep in your notebooks. Now, uh, in order to use that vocabulary, okay, let's, talk, let's go to the reading. This was the reading. Este es el que estaba en, en, la, en, en el video. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, me imagino que ya todos o la mayoría ya llegamos a esta actividad en la plataforma, que es una de las últimas. Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Oh, casi, casi. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, I decided, I decided to, 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 to put this activity in the class because it's using what we have studied, right? Questions, yes, no questions, WH questions, eh, present continuous, the spelling, y también el vocabulario que acabamos de ver en algunas de las actividades. So, I know that you already listened to the vocabulary. Los que ya llegaron ahí saben que hay un audio y van escuchando la conversación a la vez que lo van escribiendo. Y después hay un ejercicio de comprensión. ¿Me escuchan? Me sí, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So in this yeah. case, what we are going to do, just to, to check, first I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Adriana. Adriana, bueno, dos me levantaron la mano. Rachel and Adriana. Okay, in this case, we are going to role play. Role play es, es como dramatizar, o sea, no, lo, no así exageradamente, pero vamos a pretender. For example, Adriana is Meg and Rachel is Kathy. Okay, and uh, each of you is going to read the part in the conversation. So, ¿quién dije que era Meg? Adriana, right? So, Adriana, you start. You start. Go ahead. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed by my laptop, computing. 
in doing my homework. What are you working on? In working on easy for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where you, are you? I am in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I am having coffee and she is reading a magazine. How is your family? There. I'll find my father working. You see. He is working the law. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? Young's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have it to go. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, very good. Creo que no me dijo una oración. This one, like, la combinó, but it's okay. Now, writing, let's repeat, writing an essay. I'm writing an essay. Right. Writing an essay. Writing an essay. Writing an essay. Reading a magazine. Reading, Reading a magazine. A magazine. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Now, to, thank you. Now, by the way, if you have new questions about vocabulary, please ask me. Now, I need volunteers, two more. Ya no sería Adriana ni, Ra ni Rachel. I need two more volunteers, please. Jacqueline Carias, thank you. And Kevin, thank you. Okay, Jacqueline, you're going to be Meg, and, and Kevin, you're going to be Kathy. Okay, go ahead. Hi there. Who am I, sorry? Kathy. Kathy, oh. Uh -huh. Hi, Meg. How are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for my Spanish class. Can you chat? Um, for a minute, where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I am having co coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father is working outside. He's mowing the lawn with my mother is a is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh wait, my mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> okay, excellent. Very, very good. Very good. Okay, uh, do you have questions about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary and the conversation? Teacher, what is the meaning mowing? Oh, no sé si yo no leo bien. Yes, it's mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn means está podando el césped. Podar el césped. Mow the lawn. Mow the lawn es eh, cuando está podando el césped. Yes? This one. All right. Any other question? Hello. Oh. Any other question? Not sure. No. Okay. Well, uh, I know that some of you already finished this activity. Algunos todavía no han llegado ahí. Déjenme que me cargue bien esto porque no, no quiere hoy. Ahí está. No. Wait. I guess. Right. Okay. So it is the same exercise and it's actually the last activity in the section five. Okay, así que si usted ya llegó aquí, 
Very good. Excellent. Congratulations. Vamos a solamente a, a ver com, eh, comprensión en el texto. Acuérdense que, a, como les dije al inicio, no necesariamente deben de entender palabra por palabra, sino que la, la idea principal, pero siempre si hay alguna palabra que ustedes no entiendan y que por eso ustedes no entienden lo, lo que quiere decir, ahí sí hay que buscarla. In this case, sí pueden ver la pantalla, ¿verdad? Les estoy compartiendo la plataforma. We're going to review this exercise very quickly and based on the reading, porque ya, lo, ya se los enseñé acá en, en, la, en la presentación y también lo tengo acá. Lo vamos a ver entre todos. You have to tell me which is the name of the person or who is the person. In this case, who is writing an essay? Who is writing an essay according to the conversation? Sería mm. Kathy, Meg, John, Kathy's mother, Kathy's father, or Carmen. Who mm -hmm. is? Carlos O'Brien. Who? Yes. Uh -huh. So I'm going to select this one. Who is having coffee? According mm. to the conversation. Who is having coffee? Meg. Meg, okay. I am in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and, uh -huh, and she's reading a magazine. So Meg, right? Meg Martin. Who is reading a magazine? I just told you. Who is reading a magazine? Carmen. Carmen, Carmen is reading Carmen. a magazine. Now, pay attention to the question, please. Pay attention to the question. Okay. Now, who is working outside? Who is working outside? Katie. Katie. Father's father. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Katie's father. 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 As you can see, they are all fine. My father's working outside. Now, who is shopping? My mother. Katie's mother, Katie mother, right? My mother is home. No, wait. No, 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 no. My mother is out shopping, right? That, in that one. He's telling, telling you that. Uh, who is playing soccer? John. John. John, John O'Brien. Okay. So in this one, multiple choice is easy to, to check, right? So once you do that, do you submit? Bueno, aquí yo tengo submit answers, but uh, the activity is the same for everybody. Now, whenever you ask for a person, remember that the question is who? Ya conocemos la diferencia entre who and whose, right? When we ask questions for, uh, with what, when, where, okay? Aprendi hemos aprendido en todo este curso questions with what. For example, what is this? What are these? Questions with where? For example, where is the laptop? Where is the bed? Where is the sofa? Where is the lamp? To locate places, uh, um, to locate things or people. Ok, todo eso ustedes ya pueden hacerlo. Uh, now, we ask questions with whose, right? To, to ask for possession, right? For example, whose uh, mouse is this, right? Yeah, the mouse is the teacher's, ok? Or the mouse is yours, si me lo dicen directamente. Question who is to ask about people, right? For example, if I say or if I ask, who is the teacher in this class? Uh -huh. Ok. Or, what is the teacher's name? Dos maneras de preguntar lo mismo. So, in, at this point, you need to identify. Y ya pueden identificar cómo preguntar por lugares, por personas, por posesión, eh, por ubicación, etc. Ok. Now, let's move on. Give me a moment. <laughs> And before I forget, creo que les dije que les iba a mostrar las, 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 las spelling rules de, las, de, de los verbos cuando son en ING form. Esto es solamente para que tengan una idea. Ok, no es que se las van a aprender, ay, ya, ya me las tengo para mañana. No, eh, it is just for you to have an idea. Ok, acuérdense que hoy es más importante que lo manejen, pero... Eh, poco a poco y más adelante ustedes van a volver a repasar el present continuous 
y van a volver a estudiar las reglas y van a volver a reescribir fotos. Ok, so right now it's important that you have the idea for the rule. And I told you, right, like some classes ago, how do you form or how do you add the ING form? In this case, you just add ING. Para la mayoría de los verbos, solo le vamos a agregar ING. As you can see, work, working, catch, catching, sleep, sleeping. You just add ING. But if the verb ends in Y, como, como vemos acá, study, play, buy, todos terminan en Y, solamente igual ING, no cambian nada. No le van a cambiar nada. No es como en los plurales que, que si terminan en Y, le tiene que cambiar. En este caso, no. Siempre va a quedar, la Y siempre va a estar ahí. Study, playing, buying, okay. It's in the same place. It doesn't change. Now, uh, more verbs like go, do, también, only ing forms like this, going, doing, okay. In this case of these verbs that end in e, ahí sí, ahí sí se la van a eliminar. Write, writing, as you can see here, can you read it? pointer, okay. Write, writing, si se fijan, ya no está la e. So you have to eliminate it, okay? Take, taking, drive, driving, okay? And there are some verbs like these ones, estos son irregulares, porque cambian cuando yo los paso a, a la forma de ING, cambian, el significado no cambia, lo que cambia es el spelling. There are this, this one, okay? Lay and lie, son verbos bien diferentes. El primero, lay, es como acostarse ya sea en el suelo, en la cama, at the beach, right? En lie es mentir, but when, you, when, but when you use the ING form, they both change into this one, lying. Y les, el spelling va a ser igual. Entonces, ¿cómo lo voy a identificar? Según el contexto. En inglés van a encontrar muchas palabras así. Se llaman homophones, que se escriben, bueno, hay, hay varios grupos. Se escriben igual, pero significan diferente, o se escuchan igual, pero se escriben diferente. Entonces, cos, eh, vocabulario que poco a poco van a ir identificando. Y este es un ejemplo. Son dos palabras, parecieran la misma, pero son diferentes y varían según el contexto. ¿Ok? Now, and the last group is the one in, that wins, the ones in which we double the consonants, as you can see. Swim, swimming. Run, running, si ustedes se fijan, está doble. Stop, stopping, otro puede ser skip, shop, ok. Y se dobla, se dobla la última consonante porque si ustedes se fijan, hay como una fórmula que dice consonant, vowel, consonant. Si es un verbo corto y, en la y, y es consonante, vocal, consonante, tiene que poner dos veces la última consonante cuando usted agrega el ING. Ok, mm -hmm. déjenme ver si se, ahí, ahí dice. The final three letters are consonant, vowel, consonant. That is why we have to double the consonant. Solamente si es así, consonant, vowel, consonant, y el verbo es corto. Si ya tiene consonant, Vowel, vowel, no. O si tiene vowel, vowel, consonant, tampoco. Solamente que sea consonant, vowel, consonant. And as I gave you more examples, skip, for example, it's skipping, right? Another one is shop, right? We say shopping, okay? Y así podemos mencionar eh, eh, otros, otros ejemplos. En el caso de begin, for example, Ok, ahí se dobla porque el estrés está en la, en la sílaba y es consonant, vowel, consonant. Ok, pero eh, la mayoría son verbos cortos. Ok, eh, I don't know if you have any question about this. Questions? Igual esta imagen se la, se la voy a compartir en WhatsApp para que la tengan, si, 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 si gustan guardarla. I'm going to share it with you. Ok, now let's move on. 
ya se nos va a ir la hora. The next activity, it's a, uy, no, todavía no nos vamos. <laughs> ok, the next, the next one, it's a, it's a reading task. Today, as I said, we are going to work on readings. Do you remember this picture? ¿Se yes. acuerdan de esta foto? Yes. But yes. There, is a, there is a difference. What is the difference? ¿Qué de nuevo le ven esta foto que, que vimos hace no, un par de semanas? The children. The kids, right? The children. Now, in the, in the previous mm -hmm. picture, we didn't have kids. But in this one, we have two. A boy and a girl. Okay. Now, As, as we use present continuous to describe a picture or a situation, we are going to work on this reading, okay? I want you to read. Quiero ver si lo puedo hacer un poco más pequeño. Y ustedes me dicen si lo logran ver. The idea is that I want you to see, okay, the picture and the reading. And individually, you are going to read. After we read, I'm going to show you the questions that are here, okay? And we are going to answer as a class. But I, pero quiero que ustedes lean primero y traten de, de comprender. Y si no encuentran o si no comprenden una palabra, anoten la parte y después la vamos a ver. So go ahead. I'm going to give you two minutes to read. And then we are going to check comprehension. Go ahead. Okay, did you finish reading? Yes, teacher. Okay, as you can see in the reading, we are reviewing, y a, a este punto ya estamos repasando todo lo que hemos visto. Ongoing actions or action progress. Uh, location of places, colors, descriptions, everything, prepositions, etc. Okay, I need one volunteer. One volunteer to read. The text. Okay. 
Jenny Gloribel, thank you so much. Go ahead, please. Hello, my name is Karen, and this is my, my bedroom. I share it with my brother, Peter, in this picture. We are on the floor. Uh, we are on the floor. I am reading a book. I like reading. My brother is driving. Driving. He he loves driving. My bedroom is big. The walls are painted in yellow, and the floor is green. They they are to bed. A desk and two shel shelves. Shelves. The de shelf. The desk is bed bedwin. The the to bed <laughs> is begin or begin us. There is a computer and a camera on the desk. My brother's bed is next to his bed. There is a ball on his bed. My netbook is on my bed. My brother, my brother's tricycle, tricycle, mm -hmm. tricycle, is in front of my bed. The bed is between my brother's bed and the desk. Do you like my my bedroom? Okay, very good. Now I just highlighted the words that we need to pronounce. Okay, it's okay. In general, it's okay. Just let's just remember the pronunciation. Picture, everybody, picture. In this picture, picture, picture. drawing, 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 drawing. 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 painting. Drawing. Painting. 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 Shelves. Painting. Shelves. Shelves. Between. 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 Remember the prepositions, right? Between. 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 Behind. Behind. Well, in this case, no. Behind. 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 Yeah? Behind. Behind. Tricycle. 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 Right. Tricycle. Tricycle. Now, do you have questions about vocabulary here? New vo new new words. Ya lo habíamos descrito, pero but if you have questions, that's okay. Eh, vamos a ver. Shelves. Share. Share, teacher. Shelves. This one. No, this is no. Share, no, la primera línea donde dice, oh. I share it with my brother. Ah, share. I share it with my brother. Share means compartir. Quiere decir que ella comparte el cuarto. Yo lo comparto con mi hermano. I share, share it, ese it se refiere al cuarto, right? I share it with my brother. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, another one. Michelle, teacher. Shelves son estantes. If you see, follow my pointer and my mouse. These are the shelves. Okay. Uh, y como dice two shelves, mm -hmm. it can be this For... one and this one. ¿Cuál otra? Bin. Ah, the bin is the trash can. Yes, it's another way to say oh, okay. tra trash can. Mm -hmm. or, 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 or the waste basket. Another one? Okay, I guess that's it, right? Now, let's move on to the questions. According to what you remember, where are Kate and her brother? Y ahí están unas respuestas, una, some possible answers. They are on their bedrooms, in their bedrooms, or they are in the living room. What is the answer? Their bedroom. Right. This is just also a review of preposition. 
They are in their bedroom. What's, what's, vamos a ver las, las, las opciones. What's she doing? She's drawing, she's, she's read, well, she's read or she's reading? She's reading. She's reading. Okay, let's see. Is her brother drawing? Yes. Yes, yes. He, yes, he isn't. Yes he. yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. Yes, yes he. he. Yes, he is. Okay. What color are the walls? Do you remember? Yellow. 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 Uh -huh. How many shelves are there? Two, Two shelves. shelves. Two shelves. Uh huh. What are the computers? And the camera. Where are the computer and the camera? They on the desk. desk. They're on the desk. On the desk. They're on the desk. Esta no porque son es plural, entonces no puede ser it's, right? So it's they're on the desk. Where is Peter's bag? Behind the bed, next to the bed, or next to the no. It's behind the bed, it's next to the bed, or the bed? It's next to the bed. Where is Karen's notebook? Under the bed? Next it's to the bed? the bed? It's on the bed. It's on the bed. Okay. Where is the tricycle? In front of the bed? In the bed or it's on the bed? It's in front, in front of, of the bed. bed. No, sí. Okay, very good. Where is the bin? The bin, remember? It's between Peter's bed and the desk, behind Peter's bed, or under Peter's bed? It's between Peter's bed and the desk. Okay, very good. As you can see, not only actions in progress, but pre review of preposition as well. Right now, you are able to understand simple descriptions, right? Using all the vocabulary grammar that we have studied before. Now, let's finish and let's check our answers. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Now, do you have uh, more questions about vocabulary, guys? Questions? Question teacher, all clear. Okay, excellent. Now, if I want to ask, if I want to ask yes, no questions or information questions about this picture, can you give me some examples? Vamos a ver. And taking into account the intonation, lo que estudiamos ayer, rising and falling intonation. Vamos a ver si se acuerdan. Now, can somebody ask a question sin escribirla, sin escribirla, sino que así ahorita. Alguna pregunta? Where is the bag? Puede ser, is the bag? Puede ser really? location, puede ser actions in progress or description in general. Eh, ¿Alguien me dijo una pregunta? Is Karen reading? Ok, ¿quién me la dijo? No, no identifiqué la, la voz. Adriana. But, but Adriana, choose one of your classmates para que se la responda. Um, permítame. Jacqueline Carías. Jacqueline Carías. Ok, Adriana, repeat the question, please. Is Karen reading? Yes, she is. Ok, very good. Yes. Now, and the, the intonation. Can you repeat the question, please? Is Karen reading? Okay, what do you think about the intonation? Rising. 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 Rising or falling? Rising. Rising, Rising. Rising right? Yeah. Because it was a yes, no question. Is Karen reading? Excellent. Now, I need another volunteer. Vamos a ver. You don't need to write the questions. Ahorita solo con ver la foto. We can ask many questions about the photo. No volunteers. Teacher. 
Vamos a ver. I don't know. I don't identify porque dos me dijeron. <laughs> so, so, no sé. Tengo aquí a Rachel y a Jacqueline, creo. No sé quién de las dos. Let's listen yes. to Rachel. And you choose, okay. you choose your, your victim. Uh, a, a Edgar Chávez. Edgar. Okay. Go ahead yeah. and ask the question, please. Uh, Where is the bag? Where is the bag? Okay. Yes. Edgar, where is the bag? Mm, uh, the bag is next to the bed. Next to the bed. And with the question, okay. did you use rising or falling intonation? Um, falling. Falling, right? Because it was a WH question. Falling. Okay. One more, one yes. more volunteer. Creo que Jacqueline wanted to ask a question, right? Yes. Okay, choose choose one classmate, please. Emma Granados. Okay, go ahead. What is Peter doing? Emma? Peter is drawing. He's drawing. Okay. Was it rising or falling intonation? Falling. Falling, okay, because it was a yes, no question. Okay, just give me a moment. Now, questions about this, yo creo que ya sí. Eh, hoy sí ya estamos bien con el present continuous. Just give me a moment. Antes de hacer el otro ejercicio, before, before we, we finish the exercise, eh, quiero hacerlo del final exam ahora y no mañana para que los que no lo han hecho. Wait. Para los que no lo han hecho y tienen dudas ahorita, lo podamos, lo podamos aclarar. Y ya mañana sería eh, solo en caso de que de verdad intentó y ya no pudo y no sabe cómo. Para que ya mañana no estemos a última hora con esto. Okay, I know that some of you already finished, okay, which is okay. Entonces, esos que ya terminamos va, me van a ayudar, por si hay alguna pregunta, a eh, avanzar con esto, okay. It's very simple. O sea, no lo vamos a hacer juntos, no lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Solamente voy a ir, así como hice con el Mitren, eh, parte por parte para que eh, quede claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer y cuáles podrían ser una de las una posibles respuestas. So, the first one is the listening. Y si, bueno, ustedes se van a dar cuenta que, que, que el final exam incluye de la mitad, como de la mitad de la sección 3 hacia la última, que es la sección 5. No incluye todo, todo, todo el curso. Porque por eso estaba el metering. Entonces, en, la, en, la, en el listening solamente de escuchar, ok, it's a conversation, y ustedes van a ir seleccionando la respuesta. Y pueden escucharlo las veces que quieran. Y como es multiple choice, we are okay. Aquí le va countries and nationalities, weather, personality, appearance. Si ustedes se fijan, eh, también outfits or, or, or clothes. O sea que es toda una mezcla de temas que ya, ya vimos y ya, ya manejamos. Now, part B, read the answers and write the questions, ¿ok? Generalmente le, le sale, lea la pregunta y responda, pero aquí no. Usted tiene que escribir la pregunta según la respuesta, ¿ok? En, no sé si los que ya lo hicieron encontraron alguna dificultad acá. Sí, en la pregunta 4, sí, yo no la pude, intenté eh, de varias formas y no, no me salió. La 4, dice, no. My first language isn't Spanish, it's Portuguese. ¿Cuál, cuál podemos escribir acá? ¿Cuál, ¿O cuál se, se recuerda usted que, que escribió? Yo puse, is your first language Spanish? Y el question mark. Pero en la, en la cuatro, teacher, ahí está escribiendo en la tres. Ok, vaya, aquí... Ya hay un error porque la, 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 
la estructura de la pregunta no va así. Acuérdate que es verbo to be, el sujeto y, la, y el complemento. Entonces, tendría que ser, is Spanish your first language? Así sería la pregunta. Is Spanish your first language? Ok, y la respuesta sería, dígame, dígame. Lo intentó de esa forma. Por eso no me daba entonces, si yo, yo Ajá, antes, porque estaba este, mal. Ah. No, ya, sí, sí. Ya, sí, ya. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Any other question? Escuchan. Any other question yeah. about this? O nos pasamos a la siguiente. En esta parte tienen que tener cuidado en, en eso, en la estructura de la pregunta. Acuérdense, el subject y the complement. A veces hay que, es un poquito como, lleva truco ahí, pero hay que tener cuidado con eso. Ok, part C. Choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Ok, this is vocabulary, ok. Así como, bueno, cuando estudiamos, si ustedes se fijan, en la plataforma nunca le va a pedir. Cuando el vocabulario es en contexto, entonces esto es de contexto, con, como con la definición o a través de los ejemplos. Y así es como se aprende mejor, porque si ustedes están traduciendo, nunca van a dejar el español. Entonces cuesta más. No es como que poco a poco vamos a estudiar vocabulario con ejemplos, con definiciones. So, if you see, Larry is in serious. He is, y es el opuesto. Ok, tienen que leer la palabra en el contexto y es, escoger el adjetivo correcto. No sé si alguien tuvo algún problema con esta parte. No. no. Ok, D. Choose the correct answer. Ok, creo, no sé si fue en este grupo que, que, que alguien preguntaba eh, dónde estaba como la... la ¿De dónde iba a haber? No, ¿verdad? Respuesta, en re, no, creo que en este grupo fue. O sea, a, a simple vista, a simple vista parece que yo necesito como una foto o, o algo, pero en realidad no, porque eh, es como el, como, como el que acabamos de hacer, aunque había una lectura antes, pero la estructura me va, me va a decir si es la correcta o no. En este caso, is this Sus Scar, eh, ¿cuál de las tres podría ser la respuesta según el contexto? Maybe they're Kathy's. No, it's not hers, it's mine. Yes, they're hers. Según lo que me está preguntando, ¿cuál podría ser la respuesta? No, it's not no, hers. It's not her, it's mine. Mine, ajá. Es una pregunta de yes, no question, right? Entonces, para empezar, no sería maybe porque es yes or no, right? Entonces, nos quedan estas dos. Pero la tercera no puede ser porque no me está preguntando en plural. Me está preguntando por algo en singular. Entonces, vamos a ir eliminando, right Vamos a ir eliminando las que no coinciden con la pregunta. Y así son todas las demás. Whose boots are these? Entonces, usted de esas tres, según lo que le está preguntando, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Maybe they're cats. No, it's not hers, it's mine. Yes, they're hers. Y aquí, por des eh, descarte, vamos a ir viendo cuál es. ¿Ok? Eh, y así las demás, según lo que me está preguntando. All right? Yes? Ok. Yes. Eh, yes. Next, creo que esta es la última parte, si no me equivoco. No, nos falta una. Use the, co the correct present continuous form of the verb. Vaya, esto ya del present continuous, creo que esta es la tercera clase ya, con el present continuous. So this, is, this should be easy. Ok? Uh, y, y si se fijan, todas son yes, no questions. Entonces, solo de ver la opción. Ok, are you wearing jeans? No, I wearing a suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. No, I am wearing a suit. Es estructura, es gramática. ¿Cuál sería? No, I'm wearing a suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. Aunque uh -huh. está larga, pero... Como aquí está la estructura correcta, las demás, sí. en la primera le falta el verbo to be y en la segunda sí. no tiene ing. Entonces, sí. en la segunda, eso sí. vamos a hacer. Is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? Entonces, ahí según la estructura, ustedes van a ir respondiendo. 
And the last, porque esta es la última. Select the correct time. Esta era, ¿verdad, José Ángel? Usted era el del... El del el, el... Sí. Vaya, sí. pero ya está arreglado. O sea, tendría que darle la respuesta que es cuando la seleccione. What time is it? Y según lo que estudiamos, eh, usted va a escoger la hora. And that's it. All right. Be careful with the hands. Ok. Easy, right? Pero, comentario, teacher. Es que en uno de estos hay que dar dos respuestas de las dos formas que se puede decir. Sí. Por eso es que, yes. por eso es que a veces no le acepta uno porque uno solo pone una, pero pide dos a veces. Sí. No en sé esa si en que, todos, pero en algunos sí, sí. En esa que me reportó, esta creo que era. Esta de... Uh -huh. eh, entonces, uh -huh. sí, él, él había seleccionado las dos, pero igual se las se la daba malas. Entonces, ah, okay. ajá. Pero, pero sí, por ejemplo, eight, it's 8.45 y la otra uh -huh. a quarter to nine. O sea, están las dos formas. Y sí, y sí es de seleccionar ambas. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. I don't know if you have any questions in general about the exam. Hay preguntas? No question. No. Okay. Well, then I will finish no. the class. Remember that tomorrow we have classes. Okay. Así que este, lo voy a estar esperando. Hey, es la última Chair. clase. Yes. Okay. Chair. Usted va a seguir con nosotros el otro modo. No, no. Eh, es, hay, toca ¿Por cambio. Qué? <ríe> toca cambio Ay, y es no, bueno porque sí. o sea, tiene que acostumbrar a diferentes pronunciaciones, eh, metodologías. Así que mañana es la última clase y será la, la de... <ríe> okay. Maya. Bueno, Entonces good hacemos night. fiesta mañana. <ríe> good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.